third graders, we're back talking about capacity. Yesterday we looked at different containers and filled up the containers to see if it reached capacity. Today we're going to learn how to measure capacity. And one unit we, that we use is liters and a smaller unit we use is milliliters. Let's look at these two um, Poland Spring water bottles. This bottle is 500 milliliters, and this bottle is 500 milliliters. So together, they are 1,000 mil milliliters. Today, I wanna tell you that one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. So let's see what this looks like in a larger container. So when I take this larger container and I fill up, each Poland Springs bottle, here is 500 milliliters, okay, plus another 500 milliliters, okay. Did I reach its capacity? No. So this tells me that this container is not one liter because as you can see, one liter goes to that line. So this does not reach its capacity. I can guess that this container is more than one liter. It's actually really close to two liters. Okay, so now that we know what one liter of water looks like, I want us to go backwards. Let's go from a big container to a smaller container. And let's take a guess. How many cups can be filled with one liter of water? Take a guess, see what you think. Hold on to your answer, and now let's demonstrate and see. Okay, so I am going to pour, here's one cup filled to its capacity, two cups filled to its capacity, three cups filled to its capacity, four cups filled to its capacity. And look how much water is left, not much. Let's see. Oh, five cups filled to its capacity. So it took me five plastic cups to hold one liter of water. Well, I wanna know how much liquid is in this one cup. One way to find this out is to also use a measuring cup. And notice I have milliliters here. So when I fill in one cup of water, I get about 200 milliliters of water. Okay, so that's one way to find out. So boys and girls, we are learning how to find things that are one liter in capacity or less than a liter of capacity. And when I was looking around my kitchen, I found a couple containers that were less than one liter in capacity. And here are just some examples that I found. Now, if we look back at containers that are greater than one liter, here are some containers that I found. These two containers actually are the same amount. If I was to fill up liquid to these containers, they would have the same liquid capacity. Um, if, if, if I was to fill it up, they're almost about two liters. So today, boys and girls, search around your house, maybe your kitchen, and see, can you find containers that are greater than one liter? And can you find containers that are less than one liter? Post it on Seesaw and let us know what you discover. We can't wait to see what you explore in your house.